Hey guys, how's it going? So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to create a C program to add or subtract two matrices. So let us consider that we have two matrices of sizes M cross N and you need to make sure that both the matrices for this operation uh, have the same order that is they are of the same sizes. So if A has uh, you know M rows and N columns then B also needs to have the same number of rows and columns. So let's say we have two matrices A and B of order M cross N that is M number of rows and N number of columns then you know the sum of these two matrices is basically just A11 that is the first element of A plus the first element of the B matrix then the second element of this matrix the sum matrix would basically just be the sum of the A12 plus B12 and so on so you get the idea how to calculate the sum of the matrices and another easier example would be to look at this image right here where the sum of these two matrices is basically just 2 plus 0 that is 2 then we have the second element as 1 plus 2 that is 3 then the third element or the A2 1 element would be minus 4 plus 1 that is 3, minus 3 and so on so you get the idea how to calculate the mat uh, base on um, sorry the sum of the matrix you know analytically by your hands so you have that idea and we need to convert that into a program so I have written a neat little blog post regarding how to do this on my blog and my blog is called braggadoff.com so maybe after the video and if you need some more help then you can check this out and there is a neat little program and all the stuff around here however in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to write this program by from scratch so let's head over to your favorite editor or IDE or whatever you are using for your C language and start your program so here we are going to write a program to calculate the sum or differences of two matrices okay so now let's go ahead and start it okay so hold on a second I clicked something and it just went nuts all right so I'm gonna redo that and then hit enter and unselect this line all right okay so just make sure that it is a comment okay so now begin by adding all the necessary header files that is the svdio.h that is the input output header file and maybe if we are going to need the math header file i'm not sure if it will be i don't think we'll be needing the math header file so i'm just gonna skip that step and straight away we are going to enter the main part of the program now to you know to add two matrices the first thing that you need is you need to know the elements of the two matrices and even before that what you need is you need to know the orders of the two matrices that is the sizes so you're going to go ahead and ask the user to enter the order or the size of the matrices all right and first you will want the number of rows so we will just ask the user to enter the number of rows all right and then we will scan the number of rows okay so now we need to declare two variables that is m comma n so m would store the number of rows and would store the number of columns and both are of the integer type and then we will scan these so percent all right percent d for integer comma comma m all right m percent m and then you will print f number of columns all right and then you will scan that so let me just go ahead and copy this line it right here so we will scan the number of rows uh, columns right here all right so now we have done the two preliminary steps of getting the order of the matrices and then we will need to enter the elements of the matrices so we will ask the user to enter the elements of the matrices so we will prompt the user to enter the elements of the matrix a that would be would sorry that would be the first matrix and the elements of the matrix a and then we will start a loop to do that where we will be using two variables i and j where i goes from 
0 to n minus 1 and then we will increment it by 1 and then we will use other variable or another loop where j goes from 0 to n minus 1 I'm sorry I should have made i going from m uh, 0 to m minus 1 because m is the number of rows right here so j goes from j equals 0 to n minus 1 because n is the number of columns and in arrays you must know that the indices start from 0 therefore you know you have to just shift everything by minus 1 so we have going to j is less than all right you know i've made a mistake it should be just m right there just because i was saying m minus one i wrote that but you don't need to write that because the less than sign takes care of that and then you will just increment j by one and then another thing is i haven't declared these variables already so i'm just going to go ahead and do that i and j would be declared right here so now we will you know um, store these um, elements in some matrix so i also needed to create two matrices a and b of the sizes m and n so i'll just go ahead and do that that is double a m n and then another matrix b of the order m n and then we will need one more matrix to store the sum or difference or whatever we are calculating so that would be another matrix of the order m and n all right so now we have three matrices and now we will be getting the elements of the matrix a so just write scanf and then percent uh, percent lf comma and it would be m percent a i j all right so now we have you know got the elements of the matrix a now we need to from the user to enter the elements of the matrix B. So just go ahead and copy paste this part of the program once again and just make the slight change of B here. So now we are prompting the user to enter the elements of the matrix B. We don't need to uh, declare these variables again. And then it goes from M to N and just change the name of the matrix here to B. All right. So now we have the orders of the matrices. So we have declared these matrices. Then we have the elements of the matrix A then we have the elements of the matrix B so more than half of the program is already done and finally we just need to calculate and store the some of the two matrices so just go ahead and you know start another loop where I goes from 0 to n minus 1 to and then use incremented by 1 then again j equals 0 going to n minus okay once again it should be m not n and j should be n all right so j plus plus all right okay so now i'm calling the matrix that is storing the sum as c so just print or rather initialize c i j as equal to a i j plus b i j all right so now we have the you know the summation matrix or the addition of these two matrices being stored in the c matrix and then finally we just need to print that so just use another for loop okay so i'm just going to go ahead and copy this part of the program because we are just repeating that again and again so just do that and then just replace this line by printf and use percent lf and okay so now this part is going to be a little tricky because you are going to be printing the matrix so what we are going to be doing is we are going to be using tab to separate the elements by some reasonable amount of space so just use percent of slash t and then print the element that is c i j and then once this loop is done that is your pc has printed the elements of the matrix c row wise so you it has printed the first element in the i'm sorry column wise okay so it has printed the element in the first column then it has printed the element in the second then the third and then finally when it goes to the next row then you need to go to the next line so just print f and use backslash n to go to the next line and here if you're wondering then backslash t means a tab space and percent lf means that basically we are just 
printing a double value that is a long float so just go ahead and enter this semicolon and I think the program is pretty much done right here so basically this program should print the summation or the addition of two matrices so just go ahead and click on execute and compile your program so just save it by some suitable name and then wait for it to compile okay so here's the program now let's just take this example for a second that we already saw okay so here we have a three cross two matrix matrix that is we have three three rows and two columns so just enter that three rows two columns okay so now start entering the elements of the matrix a so that is two then I hit tab then one then I hit enter then minus four then I hit tab three then enter two tab minus two enter okay so the elements of the matrix B zero tab two enter one tab minus three enter three tab minus two enter okay so the sum of the matrix is two three minus three zero five and minus four so basically the program works pretty well so and you can make some slight changes here that is you can add a backslash n over here so that when you enter the elements they look rather properly like here two one is being entered here but the rest of the elements are here so now if you will run it that will look much better like if you use two cross two matrix and one tab two all right so now this will work rather better okay so now this looks better so one plus minus four is minus three three plus 0.2 is 3.2 6 plus 56 is 60, 62 1 plus 61 is 62 again so this program basically works and to print out the difference of the matrices you basically just need to replace this one character that is the plus with a minus sign now if you run the program then you will get the differences or the subtraction of the two matrices so again I'm working with a two cross two matrix one tab nine and uh, minus five zero point six seven something whatever okay so now the difference is one minus one is zero nine minus three is six minus five minus minus four is one minus one and then point five six one plus five is Oh, sorry, 0.561 minus 5 is minus 4.439. So that's it. That's how we write a C program to calculate the sum or the difference of two matrices. And I have already written a nice little blog post about it on my blog, writeout.com. I'll make sure to add the links to it down in the description below and you can check it out. And in this program, what I have done is I have created several variations. That is, there is one variation. Okay, so. I'll take that back maybe okay no I have actually okay so if you will look at this program then you will see I explain all this process in the beginning of the post and then what I do is I create a rather explanative or a very detailed program which uses all these kinds of functions for printing matrices for reading matrices we have a separate function then we have a separate function for addition of these matrices so it is a very you know detailed kind of a program and very professional looking and very neat looking like to read the matrix you just need to enter a single line then to sum the matrices you just need to enter another single line so it is a very neat version of this program so you, it would be advisable to go ahead and check out this blog post i'll add the link to it down in the description below thanks for watching in case you guys enjoyed this video and learned something from it then don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and thanks for watching have a great day